Greetings, friends. In this small video, I will talk about my works, my portraits, how I shoot, what I shoot, and why. I will cover in more detail some of my images. I'll share my thoughts on the matter and my philosophy behind portrait photography. I've been perfecting portrait photography for the last five or six years. I bought my first camera 10 years ago. It was an affordable Sony with a crop sensor, like most of us in the beginning. I photographed everything I saw around me. Landscapes, portraits, macro, butterflies and flowers. I dreamed of learning how to shoot landscapes and bought a big telephoto lens to take animal and bird photos. I live in a place with a lot of wildlife and wanted to try myself in these photography genres. But I was better at shooting people. But I was better at shooting people, so I decided to concentrate on that. Since I'm a fan of classical photography, a lover of art and realism, I prefer subjects that are similar to the type found in the artworks of famous painters. For that reason, I focused my search on this type of unique and interesting model. With some kind of history, sadness, gloominess or charisma in their eyes. Let's take a look at some of my works and I'll provide a couple of comments on each. Here is one of my most famous works. It's a portrait of Dasha, a young Russian lady I found on the Russian social network. I liked her very much. She hooked me. Look at her beautiful red hair. There aren't many red-headed people in the world, especially in the area where I live. Perhaps 1-2% to of the population. But freckled redheads are even fewer generally less than 1%. I shot her at an ordinary inexpensive Moscow studio with daylight. The session was a brief one. It turned out we forgot our documents and were temporarily denied entry to the photo studio. Moreover, due to the daylight savings in our country, the clock shifted an hour forward and instead of two planned hours, only one remained. This mishap with the passport and the loss of an hour resulted in no more than 30 to 40 minutes for the shoot. But Dasha turned out to be very artistic. It was one of her first photo sessions. I was happy to have discovered her. We shot a whole series of 20 interesting photos. You may, ha you may have seen them on my social media. I conclude from the story that a lot depends on chance. Not only the choice of model, light, color or composition, but also the element of luck alters the results. Here is another red-headed girl. This is Erika. Apart from the hair, Erika also has beautiful curls that make her look like a lion. Plus, her captivating green eyes and a little snub nose complement this lion image. Note how interesting this girl is? It was my pleasure to shoot her. My famous Matilda is a 10-year-old Russian girl, Nastya. I think the idea for her photos in this style came to me during our first trial shoot. I found her on Instagram. She got me with her grown-up stare. Notice how she's looking at us with her mature set of eyes? The trial session went well, and the idea to shoot her in Matilda's image was born. Matilda is the heroine in the film Leon the Professional portrayed by Natalie Portman. Nastya's hair was long, so we decided to find a wig and a similar choker necklace to the one found in the movie. And that's how this shoot came about. We shot in a Moscow studio with constant lighting. I haven't been able to shoot with a strobe light yet. I was not able to shoot with a strobe light yet. I wasn't able to set it up correctly. So I decided to turn on the autopilot and shoot with a constant source of light. This setup is simple a large softbox in front of the model and a small backlight from behind. My summer series. I like to shoot at sunset. Dust flying in the air and this halo of glowing hair around the face creates an excellent summer atmosphere. Shoots like these do not go unnoticed in my gallery. I recommend going for evening walks on warm summer days. This session is also with a Russian girl, Dasha. 
pay attention to the open shoulders. If the lady has a lovely figure and a beautiful collarbone, it should be emphasized. Perhaps you can photograph her in a dress with open shoulders. I don't pursue the need to undress my subject or portray her erotically. I like to underline her femininity. For me, femininity relates to the face, eyes, hair, long neck, collarbone and shoulders. Note that I often choose models with big eyes. I believe that big-eyed models can better convey expression, emotion and mood in the image. I hardly work with makeup artists. Most of my portraits are captured with minimal makeup. The most I use is a little bit of mascara on the eyelashes and sometimes gloss to give the lips more volume. Classic hats can also nicely accentuate the female form and add tenderness and charm to your photos. If your model has a cute snub nose, you can move her a bit from the light source and the shadow that will form on her face from the opposite side of the source will underline this facial feature and thus your model's individuality. Notice here that I matched the dress to the hair color. It's a dark blue dress. Try to pick uniform and solid color outfits. Try to pick uniform and solid color outfits without tiny patterns or prints and unnecessary jewelry. Simplicity, truthfulness and genuineness are the three components of a good portrait. That is, do not try to plant a garden of unwanted elements in the frame. The face is the most important part. Use less of everything, including accessories, cosmetics, and things in post-production that will distract the viewer's attention from the face of your model.